What's going on guys, Lupo HQ here on how to make your Windows 7 look super sexy. So there's going to be a few things that you need in the description. One is the universal theme patcher. Whether you have 32-bit or 64-bit, and the easiest way to find out is to right-click computer properties. It'll tell you right below your installed memory RAM the system type 64-bit or 32. Now x86 is 32-bit, x64 is 64-bit. Now what this does is patch your system files to run modified themes. What you want to do in Windows 7 is right click run as administrator. Make sure you do that, click OK, choose your preferred language, I don't know what that is, block or Chinese, something. But anyway, let's click OK. There's three files that need to be patched. Now if you have three files that has been patched, then I guess you're fine. But anyway, click yes. Now click patch, patch, and patch. Now what you would want to do is restart immediately after this. This is where it gets easy after you restart your computer. In the description, again, you will want to click the link going over to deviantart.com. You will want to look at the themes for Windows 7. It should link you there. Again, this is for Windows 7. I'm not too sure if this will even work for Vista. XP is out of the question. But anyway, on DeviantArt, you can choose your all-time, one week, one month, or even up to eight hours what's most popular. I like choosing all-time because those have all-around higher ratings, and the community likes them much more. But again, it is your choice, but anyway, I chose all time, I know exactly what I want, again, you'll just look for your theme, and I want Shine 2.0 for Windows 7, so we click that, and in the right here, click download file, it's an RAR file or .rar, you need WinRAR to open it. Now, I have my theme downloaded, I ended up going with Soft 7 2.0, I wasn't too sure about Shine, it gave me some problems, but that can happen to some of them, they do get a little bit difficult. But anyway, I found my theme that I wanted, I extracted the folder. Now inside of it, they may look a little bit different, but you want to find the theme folder and inside of it have these Windows theme files and again the folder inside of that one. Now go to your computer, disk, go to Windows, go to Resources, go inside of Themes. Now it should look similar to this if you did not install any other. I'll just drag that all into there and now just right click personalize and your theme should be in there click your newly installed theme and it should work so there we go I got my new theme running it looks pretty cool okay now that you have your theme you might want to customize your Windows 7 start orbs and again themes again can change colors of system items so don't freak out if that happens and now again we'd wander our way back to DeviantArt you'd find a start orb that you like you can choose all time, 24 hours. I found the start orb that I wanted. I clicked on it. Again, you just click download file. Pretty easy. Now, it should be a .bmp file. If it's not, it might be a .jpg. But you want to extract it. And with this new tool, Windows 7 Start Button Changer, you go inside the folder, run it as administrator, and you do have the option to go back to your previous start orb. So if you don't like what you do, you always have the chance to go back. So, click select and change start orb, duty black orb, or whichever orb that you change and you'll notice your start button changes. So there you go, that's how to make your computer look super sexy. Hope you guys enjoyed. Liking the video would be so appreciated, it helps me out a lot, it takes like a second of your time. Or if you don't want to do that, you can subscribe, you might even like future videos. So thanks guys, see you till next time, this has been Lupo, have a great day.